Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got the last four in this box. There's nothing left in here. And just a reminder, we haven't pulled the secret rare yet. And last time during the last one, when I flipped it over, this was the one in the other box that had the secret rare. If it's in this one too, I am thinking that there might be like some sort of uh, system that they're using where it's more likely to be in the bottom right pack. So let's see if that's right or not. If this one's got the secret rare or not. Uh, and saying that, I'm not telling you to go to your local game store and demand they open up a new box and pick the backpacks because that's scummy and it's not going to help them at all. So we got a Metal Tyrannomon, a Biomon, Kura Kurasarimon, Xvmon, Stingmon, Andromon, Devamon, Magnadramon, Kabuterimon, Agumon, Ice Wall. Ooh! We did get two alternate arts! It is not the secret, but that is super cool! Just so we can give it a little more time, we're going to gloss over this one real quick. Uh, because we well, opened this one last time, I think. It is a one-play cost. Main all of your opponent's Digimon gain when attacking, lose two memory until the end of their next turn. Security effect, gain two memory. Solid card, really good. It's a low cost. Uh, offers you a good amount of memory. Uh, and the security effect is also solid. Definitely like it for a blue deck. Now... We get to look at this Agumon, who is just so pretty. Uh, we've got an Agumon to compare him to. It is the same exact picture. This is a little scaled down. Uh, so if anything, it's probably better resolution-wise. Uh, he is a three-play cost. Uh, he's got the Div Digivolution cost of from red level two by paying zero memory. And he's got the uh, inherited effect, no active effect, of when attacking once per turn, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one Tamer card or one Digimon card with Agumon in its name among them to your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. This is a good one. It's also a fairly good Agumon. Like, I'm digging the appearance of it. Uh, it's definitely got that old school... Uh, old TCG, old TCG vibe of the Digimon card game had. I like the way that they've done it. Uh, but like I said, it's also a good Agumon because even if it's late game and you attack with this guy and you have no more Agumons in your deck and you have no more Tamer cards in your deck, you're probably at that point where your deck is maybe 20 cards. And so being able to look at the top three cards of your deck and rearrange them in an order and put them back at the bottom of your deck, that can be pretty powerful if you can make it back to that point uh, to know that you've got certain cards coming up. Um, that said, I don't know if I put them over the other Agumons. Uh, I suppose you could put them in like a multicolor deck. And have multiple different types of Agumons. But I'm digressing. Card looks very nice. Uh, definitely worth it for that one. Put them off to the side. Next pack. We have three packs left. Uh, so the backpack was not the Machine Dramon secret. It was a good card though. A parallel rare. We got a Palmon, Haguramon, Tapermon, Tentamon, Weregururumon, Karamon, Demidevamon, two of my favorites back to back, Edamon, Rosemon, Gabumon, Pyildramon, and Tyrannomon. 
Hmm. So Tyrannomon is a 5 play cost, a 2 Digivolution cost from red or green, 4,000 DP. When Digivolving, if you don't have a Taiga in play, you may play one from your hand without paying its memory cost. And your turn, this Digimon is also counted as green. And the inherited effect of while this Digimon has Tyrannomon in its name, it gets plus 2,000 DP. I want to see more cards with uh, your turn. This Digimon is also treated as the other Digivolution color that it has. Uh, so this one counts as red and green on your turns. And I really like that. I want to see more cards that do that so that uh, you can go from a green Digimon into a red Digimon back to a green Digimon. I really like that concept. And I'm sure we're going to see some sort of mechanic in the future like that. Uh, like they might even shorten that out. So it's like your turn, this, like, I don't know. They might come up with terms like how magic has banding, uh, which was a hilarious ability, or flying. There might be a term like that uh, for this, like uh, your turn, did you convert green or something like that, where this guy counts as green, like just thinking of a word. And then Pyildramon, he's an 8 play cost, 3-digit uh, evolution cost from blue or green, 7,000 DP. When digivolving, if a Digimon card with free in its traits is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, unsuspend this Digimon. And the inherited effect of while this digi your turn, while this Digimon has Imperial Digimon in its name, it can't be blocked. Uh, so this is a, this is a good card for a Pyildramon deck. Um, I don't know how well it would work in other decks. Uh, cause I can't think of other blue or green ones with the free type. Uh, like he's obviously going for the, uh, XV Mon or the Sting Mon. But other than that, like, I can't think of any other free types. I'm not sure if Vmon is free. I'd have to look back at that. Um, as far as Pyildramon goes, this is a solid one. With the ability for the, uh, while this Digimon has Imperial Dramon in its name, it can't be blocked. And also, just pointing that out, another thing that just popped into my head is that there is Imperial Dramon, Dragon Mode, Imperial Dramon, Fighter Mode, in Imperial German, uh what is that one? The one, Paladin Mode, that's what it is. So there are three different ones. So that makes me think that somewhere down the line, they're going to make the other modes. Like, I know they made Dragon Mode. I don't remember if they've made Fighter Mode. And I'm sure they haven't made the uh, Paladin Mode. So this guy would work with any of them because he just says, in its name. And that's pretty cool. So, second to last pack. We still haven't gotten the secret rare. We've gotten the two parallel rares. So, unless this box is super lucky and we get some strange pull, uh, other than the secret rare, we're only missing the last card in the set that we haven't pulled from these two boxes. And I forgot to say, we got Metal My Mama Mon and Goma Mon. We got... Garudamon, Salamon, Gardramon, Zudamon, Anjamon, Phoenixmon, that was a super rare, Plesiomon, Gatamon, Ogremon, and Machindramon. There's the secret rare. So looking at Ogremon, he's a 6 play cost, a 2 Digivolution cost, 5,000 DP. When attacking, you may trash one card in your hand to have this Digimon gain security attack plus 1 for the turn. And the inherited effect of when attacking, you may trash one card in your hand to have this Digimon gain plus 2,000 DP for the turn. Again, 
like I said with some of the other cards, this card's all right on its own. If it can combo with other ones, like if you are discarding the Skull Greymon to give someone else retaliation, that makes this card go from like an all right one to a great one. Because uh, you could you could attack with this guy, discard the uh, Skull Greymon, put it underneath a different champion, have that one attack into another Digimon, uh, die, and take it out, and maybe pull off some other of the effects from the cards underneath it. Um, so, comboed, great on its own. He's, he's decent. Machine Dramon. So this is a 12 play cost, a 3 digivolution cost from black or red, 11,000 DP, on play, and again, we're going to go up close because there's a lot of abilities this guy has. On play, you may place up to 5 red and or black cards with Cyborg in their traits in different card numbers from your hand and or trash in this Digimon's Digivolution cards to gain one memory for each card placed. All turns, this Digimon's DP cannot be reduced. All turns, when this Digimon would be deleted, you may trash two level 5 Digimon cards in this Digimon's Digivolution cards to prevent this Digimon from being deleted. So again, he's got some powerful abilities, and they're pretty good. Uh, I will say that something I didn't catch last time, but I did this time, is that the five cards that you put under him, they have to be different card numbers. So that puts some control over it. Like, before it seemed, like, super powerful. Like, I could put five of the metal Greymons beneath it, and it's like, no, you can't put the five the same. They have to have different names to be, or different card numbers to be put under him. And so that helps balance his power out just a bit. Um, still a good card. And again, if you can get him pumped up just a bit, his DP not being able to be reduced is well worth it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure there's some rolling out there where it's like if you have a card that's like this this Digimon gains plus 5,000 DP for the turn, like that supersedes this one because it would make no sense. You know, at the end of the turn, it's like, no, he gained it. It can't be reduced. Like that doesn't make sense. So I'm sure that's got to be a thing. Uh, if it is a loophole, that is a giant loophole. Because just plopping two down and making this guy a 21 is just... Ooh, that's not okay. Um, definitely a good Machine Dramon for a multicolor deck. So, we've now pulled the two Parallel Rares and the Secret Rare. So the only thing that we can pull from this one is the one missing card that we haven't pulled. We got Devamon. Megadramon, Alekmon, Andromon, Togemon, Ikakumon, Wizardmon, Patamon, Greymon, Lilymon, Vimon, and Seraphimon. We did not pull the one card we were missing from the two boxes. Vimon is a 3 play cost, a 0 digivolution cost, 2000 DP, no active effect, and he's got the inherited effect of your turn once per turn. When this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, gain one memory. And just zoom in there, he is a free type. So that means that he could digivolve into any blue or green Digimon, and then Pyildramon could be played on top of him, and because Pyildramon says if he's got free in him, he unsuspends, this guy would immediately unsuspend, and you would immediately gain one memory. So they are definitely synergizing between the two, making this one a good one for a uh, theme deck in that way. Then Seraphimon, the bane of my devilish heart with all of those... Devamons, Demi Devamons, Lady Devamons, Diaboramons. Ugh. 
He's a 12 play cost, a 4 Digivolution cost, 12,000 DP. When Digivolving, recover one from the deck, so place the top of your card uh, onto your security stack. And during your opponent's turn, while this Digimon is suspended, all of your security Digimon get plus 5,000 DP. This guy's a good one. He is a good stall one because uh, when he's suspended, something has to take him out before they can go into the security stack. And unless that Digimon has piercing, uh, it's going to knock into this one and just stop doing what it needs to do. So he's a good one. Uh, definitely worth it. So with that, we have opened up all the cards in the box. There's nothing left. We didn't pull the one card from the two boxes to finish the set. But as I said before, we pulled that one before, and I've actually got it off to the side. So to finish this off, we're going to take a look at that one again. Just so that we can properly say that we've looked at the entire set through these two boxes. And the last one that we didn't pull another one of is this Imperial German Dragon Mode. It is a 12 play cost, a 3 digivolution cost from blue or green, 11,000 DP. And when digivolving, if a Digimon card with 3 in its traits is in this Digimon's digivolution cards, unsuspend this Digimon and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Your turn, for each color in this Digimon's digivolution cards, it gets plus 1,000 DP. This is good and... Uh, if it has Pyildramon underneath it, it's going to be able to unsuspend and suspend an opposing one. Uh, alternatively, if it's got Vmon and you can somehow get it through uh, the other colors, because ideally you'd want three different colors under this guy, because uh, you would get blue and green for certain. You would just need to be able to put the last one on there. In fact, just looking over the side, I know you could... Because you could put, uh, like, Tentomon at the bottom. Then Tentomon could digivolve into Tyrannomon. And Tyrannomon could digivolve into Pyildramon. And Pyildramon would be able to go into, into uh, Imperial Dramon. And so in this way, he's got... Three different colors underneath him. So he would get plus a thousand for each, giving him 14. And thinking about it a little further, if you could get Skull Greymon underneath him, uh, because he was uh, discarded from your hand, that would give you four colors uh, underneath this guy, giving him uh, a 15,000 body. And that'd be pretty cool. Is it unlikely? Yes. Building a deck with so many colors doesn't seem like a good idea. But like this one, because he counts as green, you could splash him into a green-blue deck. And it would only cut off half of the uh, support as opposed to just being a red in a blue-green deck. So there we have it. We have gone through the two boxes. We've gone through all of the rares and stuff like that. Uh, if I don't do a video breaking down like how many of each color we got, I'm definitely going to put it towards the start of uh, one of the future videos. Uh, and again, if you want to see a color by color breakdown, let me know. Because like I've already got, like I said, many of them sorted. I just have to go through these new cards that we just got. Um, and again, if you've got any other ideas, comment down below. Let me know. If I like them, I'll do them. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It really helps out. And until then, I will see you next time.